So today we're back with a new challenge here in BMG Drive. We have the car grinder made by CarPal, which you should go check out their YouTube channel. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be running through the fastest vehicles in the game to see if we could clear through without a scratch. And folks, stay tuned until the end because we try it with the freaking school bus. All right, so we're going to start off here big. So we have Mio's Dragster. I feel like for speed, this is going to be amazing. Now, it's a little long. So I don't know if it's going to quite make it through the shredder. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Slow down time. What if we make it through the first attempt? Is that just I ended the video? Oh no, I was going to say, do I just end the video? I just, I think it's too long, but I know somebody will say, well, why didn't you use the dragster? Well, that's why we didn't use the dragster there. I mean, to be fair, maybe we should back up a little bit more and try to get the most speed out of it. Uh, I think this thing's capable of going... Uh, 300 plus so we'll just back up to the end of the runway here but i've got quite a few different ones that i'm going to attempt here today uh, if you guys like weird experimental videos here in beam and g uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and also go check out car pal I'll have them linked down in the description all right here we go all the way speed oh my goodness oh i am veering a little bit oh dude the body made it through almost completely clean like we lost the wheel there hold on will the driver survive oh we are going way too fast um uh oh uh at what point did we slow it why does it feel like we're carrying an infinite amount of speed and oh my goodness oh that's a really strong fence yo we almost made it so it would be a shame if we didn't try a bugatti here I feel like we've definitely got the speed uh, that we need. So here, we're gonna back up just a little bit. Uh, Mio also, this is, by the way, this is the innocent uh, Bugatti, but Mio has an override mod that should be able to override vanilla vehicles. So we'll probably go to some of those and override the engine and make it to where they're way too fast. Uh, maybe that'll make it to where we can pass through. Here we go with the Bugatti though, uh, about 230. Oh, I got the speed wobbles there at the end. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. I mean, if anything, you're getting really, really satisfying crashes here in this car shredder. Uh, driver definitely did not survive that one. Uh, I felt like it got a little bit out from underneath me there and it started cruising over. Uh, to be fair, we were going really fast. All right, here we go. I'm gonna keep it a little on the left side here. So with the way these, uh, these things are aimed, uh, I feel like maybe you should be on that left side. You might have a little bit better chance. Uh, oh my goodness. Now, as far as the timing of these, I don't really know. Oh my goodness, besides resetting it, you can't get them all to start at the same time. So there's going to be uh, some variation. But we saw that you can get a vehicle through with the Dragster. I don't know about the Bugatti, though. Uh, that one just ripped it in half that time. My goodness, that was absolutely brutal. Let's maybe give, like, less things to hit. So I want to get rid of this really, really massive back wing. Okay, so this is the uh, Super Sport 610 Plus. All right. Oh, just ease into. Oh my goodness, the wheel spin. I even have NOS. I don't know if NOS is like necessary right here. I mean, I guess we could always just click it on. Get a little bit more speed, why don't we? Oh my goodness. Okay, slow it down. Okay, I'm trying to finally. Okay, we're gonna go a little to the left here. Oh, wait. Oh my goodness, we got hit on the uh, one coming up. That was looking like it would have been clear. Now, the part of the challenge is landing and surviving. Like, it's one thing to go through it, but if you get to the other side and the car obliterates itself, it's not great. Like, I wanna see it to where we get through as clean as possible and the bugatti has once again blown up in half might not be the best vehicle for this so you're probably saying to yourself komodo why well the pigeon's a small vehicle and this is a drag variant i don't know how fast a drag pigeon is i mean you're hoping it's decently fast oh wait no here we go okay uh, i don't understand why the drag one's three wheels like i really would like the four wheel pigeon because it feels a little bit wobbly <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is not safe. Like, I would not do this in real life. No, I'm, I'm no, I wouldn't do the the car blender, but drive this pigeon at 130. Uh, oh wow. Okay, watch this be the one that makes it. Oh, they're coming down, coming up. Oh, dude. Okay, that was close. We made it to the very end of the blender, and we got caught by like one of the last ones. And uh, yeah, we definitely didn't survive that. The cage has collapsed probably on my head. I mean, it held up decent. No, oh, wait, never mind. I bet you we did make it out of that one. Uh, might be a little bit injured, but no, we're good. I'm, I'm thinking the odds are good with the pigeon. It's small. We're not moving as fast as we were with the other vehicles, but still. I mean, I could override this one. All right, here we go. 
Oh my goodness. We have made it. Hold on. What about the landing? Okay, the initial landing, that probably would have hurt, but oh no, this is gonna suck. Wait. <laughs> like, what is that like in like first person? All right, well, I, I would say that was a success. The landing, while not being the smoothest, it still drives. Look at that. It still actually turns. Oh, buddy. Oh, getting a little bit of wobbles here. Come on, you gotta correct it. Uh, <laughs> we did it again. Wait, really? Hold on. I think we found the ultimate vehicle to get through the car shredder. The freaking pigeon. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, I'm going to pull this out as a joke. It's not going to make it through. Uh, yep. Confirm pigeon is the ultimate car in BMG. So we proved that we could do it with a small car. I still want to do this with a big car. Now, to be fair, we haven't tried a stock vehicle out. We do have the drag scintilla, which... I know this thing, it's not the smallest vehicle. I mean, it's not big. And I think this might actually have the speed to do it. I don't know what its top out speed is. Uh, we normally don't run it on like strips this long, uh, but we're about to figure out and see if we can make it through. I mean, if not, it'll be really satisfying because this vehicle can like break in two, kind of like the Bugatti. Oh, we're carrying decent speed. Looking at the timing here. They're pretty even. That right side one is really skewed out though, but oh, wow, and... Hey, we didn't break it in half. Uh, definitely killed the passenger. I think the driver might be actually okay during this one. Yeah, I don't feel like it's enough speed. It's a fairly decent sized vehicle and it tops out at 230. Now, what we can do, and this only works with vanilla mods. By the way, this mod that we're about to check out is on Mio's uh, Patreon, the person that creates the dragsters. So they have something called the override mod. And this works, like I said, with vanilla vehicles. I do not think it works with any mod vehicles. So if we go down to additional modifications, you see Mio's system override. So what we're going to do, we'll open this up so we can override every system in the car from the cooling, the durability, which you're going to need if you're going to jack up the power, uh, the transmission, and the engine power. We can override all these, and you'll see you get some more additional, like, drop downs, and you can override all this, too. So the RPM limit, we don't need that. Torque limit, we don't need that. If we have a, an engine that hopefully can't explode, we, in theory, are going to have the limits of the tires. Uh, is there an override for the tires right now? I don't think that's a thing. Okay. I think I'm going to have to do something with the trans. I have... Okay, I've got zero, like, grip right now. Uh, trying to put the... Yeah, we're going to need to adjust the gears out. <laughs> you can have 10 times engine power, and you have an undrivable mess that the transmission doesn't match up with it. Okay, so I'm experimenting with the gears. Check this out. As soon as I hit the gas, it's going to inst... Like, what is the 0 to 60 here? Watch the uh, speedometer. And we're up to 130. Uh, it's 130 spinning the tires. We might have bitten off a little more than we could chew here. Let's go manual gearbox. All right. Uh, oh my goodness! <laughs> we need the tire durability mod. Uh, and if I just put it in fifth gear and roll from there, oh, it dies. Okay, that's definitely not a thing. Hold on, fire it back up. Okay. Oh, no, nah, I guess I gotta be in first here. Actually, I think I need to be in neutral. Fire it up. Okay, give it a little bit of gas here. Let's go second gear. Uh, this is when you've definitely screwed it up. Maybe times 10 was a bit too much. Okay, I've got everything in. I went times three here, so let's go. Man, the hookup. That's fifth gear, that's explosion. So it's best to probably not override a bunch of engine values. Uh, I got this. I thought maybe it would hold together. I need to fix the durability real quick. Three hours later. So after experimenting with the override mod quite a bit, I realized I created mostly bombs. So we have a slightly uh, modified version here. So I'm hoping this one gets through. Hold on, better pay attention ahead of us. Uh, I didn't make it too ridiculous. Uh, I still want to work with that mod a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Okay, watching the speed. Watching, can we make it through? Pretty dead center on the line here. No, I immediately clipped it. Oh my goodness. You know, I kind of want to do this with a semi. You can't make a semi go through there, right? As far as vehicles, when I think off the top of my head for speed, other than stuff that has Jados on it, this thing's ridiculous. So let's turn NOS on. Maybe I can get this one to hook up. All right, here we go. We're not on a purpose-built strip. I don't know what the grip levels are on this thing. Oh, they're not very high. Uh, all right, here we go. 
Yeah, if this was like a purpose-built script, I think we'd be fine. And oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be either lovely or bad. And oh, dude. Okay, timing is right on that one. There's no way we don't make it through with this. I think we can finally get a full-size vehicle through. By the way, I do have a school bus. I know it sounds bad. I'm gonna send a school bus in a car grinder. That sounds like an unfortunate like title to like a Mr. Beast or something. Maybe if you survive, you win like a million dollars or something. All right, here we go. Come on, man. Okay, here we go once again. Uh, once it hooks, it hooks. It's just trying to keep keep it going like straight. I think there's a. Wait, what just happened? Hold on. Editor, can we get a slow-mo replay of that with uh, hopefully some nice classical music? We made it through. I'm almost 100% sure we made it through. I think we caught the lip of the return. All right, editor, let's go back down to this location. You see this thing here? I would say if you were standing here next to that, that would prob probably be no more than maybe four or five inches. I think we hit that and it completely obliterated the vehicle. Who would have thought that like four inches of asphalt would do that to a car? That's what I'm saying. I think you need something a little beefier suspension wise that's going to be able to take the impact on the other side because it's all for nothing if you make it through kind of like that and then immediately hit that lip. I don't wonder if I can go into the editor if this is like a, a loose piece and I could raise that return by like a couple inches. Because I just made it through, I would say a second time there. And I died. So yeah, you can carry enough speed. Also, that's got to look like if you're sitting here and you just watch that thing pass through, that's got to look insane. I mean, except for the whole fact that it stops. Uh, I'm going to look at the editor real quick and see if I can move this. Folks, look at me. I'm, I'm a genius. I mean, not really. I mean, it's not hard to work the editor in the game. I've raised it up a little bit. Hold on. I'm going to go down maybe like an inch. Uh, I don't want there to be a lip how it was. Uh, I'm thinking about... Okay, so it has to poke up a little bit because if not, the road collides through it or the airstrip. Technically, we should be able to make it over this now. I, I think I fixed our problem here. Uh, all right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, we didn't make it through, but we don't get obliterated anymore uh, by the return. So if we can get one clean run through with this, we're going to land. Now, whether or not we survive, actually, I would argue we survived there. The driver's compartment's actually fairly intact. We are destroying physics right now. Uh, that's definitely a thing, but I mean, we're doing pretty good, I think. Oh, jeez. So we have the Jado school bus because reasons. I mean, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work. Uh, but it's gonna be worth the shot, I guess. So yeah, I guess you could say the noob mode was the pigeon pro mode, probably the full size car. This is expert or legend right here. All right. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, oh, there's no way. We pop, we top out way too low here. Oh, just died. Uh, I got nice. I mean, it doesn't matter if the engine's not running. Uh, oh my goodness. And wait, what? We honestly made it through way further than I thought we would with this. Also, I... Oh, the Jado's still going. That's what's happening here. Uh, I have no brakes. I guess my brakes are going to be... Oh, jeez. Uh, the fence here and... Oh! <laughs> hey, you can see half the kids survived there. Yeah, we made it through a lot further than I thought we would. I don't think you make it through cleanly. I think it's just too long. It's kind of like the dragster. Uh, I feel like the way the rotations are. Now, if there was a way that we could start all these up at the same time, you might have a little bit better chance, but I feel like that might make it a little too easy. I like the whole fact that these are offset slightly, so it's just, can you make it through uh, this narrow gap fast enough to not die? And you know what? We proved that you can.